Hello and welcome to the screencast on the Lightning Conductor Web Part 2010. The Lightning Conductor Web Part 2010 provides you with the ability to roll up information from lists and libraries throughout multiple site collections within a web application. In order to insert the web part, we simply click inside a web part zone and choose Insert and then Web Part from the ribbon. Selecting the Lightning Tools Web Parts section provides me with the option of all of our web parts. I'm going to select the Lightning Conductor 2010 web part and then choose Add. Once the web part's added to the page, we can hit the drop down menu, and that provides me with an option that says configure the Lightning Collector 2010. I'm going to choose that, and that provides me with a dialog box allowing me to uh, set up the Lightning Collector web part in three easy steps. The first dialog provides me with a choice of uh, engine provider uh, and then display provider and also a, a refresh interval. The refresh interval simply allows me to uh, avoid having to refresh the page to see up-to-date information. Once I've chosen next to the first step, I then get to select the content source and how I'm going to aggregate information. So I can roll up from all site collections within the current web application. I can also roll up from multiple site collections. And that provides me with a tree view once I click the gear icon, allowing me to select which site collections I, I want to aggregate from. Alternatively, I can select multiple sites. That provides me another tree view, allowing me to expand all of my subwebs, subsites, and pick and choose which sites I want to aggregate the content from. And the final option allows me to choose from multiple lists. So rather than just aggregating all lists of a certain type or that have a content type in common, I can now uh, simply expand each of my subwebs and pick and choose the, the individual lists that I want to aggregate from. For this demo, I'm going to roll up from multiple site collections. So clicking the gear icon, that provides me with the ability to pick and choose the site collections I want to roll up from. I then get to choose the list type. So in this example, I'm going to roll up from the task list. Note that any custom list definitions or custom list templates will also be included in the list type. I can then optionally filter by content type. So here's a list of my content type groups, including any custom content types. You can see there's one here called uh, Lightning Tools, which is a, a group that I created that consists of multiple uh, custom content types. For this example, I'm going to choose from the list content types and then select the task content type. Just in case my users have created their own custom content types that derive from tasks, I'm also going to include any child content types of that one. I can limit the number of items returned. So rather than being overwhelmed with uh, my results, I'm going to limit the, the number of results to 10. Selecting next then allows me to set up the presentation. Now this can be done simply by picking and choosing which columns I want to display and also have some alternate options as well, such as how many items per page do I want to show and where do I want the, uh, the columns to be displayed from left to right or right to left, um, where I want the position to be, uh, the, the pager position. And then finally, I can show the column headers, the, the grid header, and also uh, a drop-down menu item on, on each of the list items as well. Now in here I can pick and choose the columns that I want to display. I have some options for convenience, such as the ability to select all or deselect all. Uh, but I'm going to go down and select the ones that I want to display, starting off with the title, which I'm actually going to provide an alias of task. I can then pick and choose some other columns, such as the percent complete. And for that one, I want to format the, uh, the, the number rather than show it as a decimal. I want to show it as a percentage. And I also want to uh, show who the item is assigned to. And then finally, I want to show the priority of the task as well. So once I've selected the columns that I want to display, I can then adjust the order of them in which they display from left to right. So I'm going to make sure that my title column goes first. And I can also set some other properties, such as how I want to sort the items. So once again, I'm going to make sure that they're sorted by the title. Once I've configured the display, I can configure how I want to uh, group any items, if at all. So I want to group by priority. 
and I want to link to the item based on my uh, my link title column, and I also want to show any uh, any items as expanded rather than collapsed. The final thing for me to do is click finish and OK to save my changes. And you'll notice that we're now seeing results aggregating from across multiple site collections. We also provide filtering. So for our users, once we've uh, closed the page, users can come in here and apply filters simply by clicking on the, uh, the filter icon and, uh, and choosing the operators such as greater than, not equal to, is not, is null, etc, etc. And uh, the same sort of thing applies for every column. And you'll see some individual controls like an assigned to column also includes the me keyword, allowing you to uh, make sure that you know, I only want to see your tasks that are assigned to me, etc. Okay, that's the Lightning Conductor Web Part 2010. You can download a trial version by going to www.lightningtools.com clicking onto the Web Parts tab, and uh, you'll see the Lightning Conductor Web Part 2010 listed. Many thanks.